What's up guys? Uh, I go by the name of Jaguar. I'm a producer at YG Publishing and also a songwriter for Team 9. I also manage international business uh, at this team. I actually majored in finance at NYU, so I really didn't think of music as something I would do for the rest of my life. But I ended up choosing music because I was uh, doing it as a hobby, but all of a sudden YG contacted me about writing a song for Treasure. So I gave it a try and Tarari came out and it became a hit and that just started, everything started from there. So from then on, I thought to myself, uh, maybe I should give it a try, um, making K-pop music. And since then, I was, I've been, I've been on this team trying to make uh, K-pop songs, and I'm enjoying it. So in order to get myself into K-pop, uh, I had to find a team. So which is Nine Music, and um, I was on Instagram uh, looking for some team. And um, Mingu, the leader of this team, um, I thought he was very passionate. I, I really, I don't know, something just told me that I had to talk to this guy. So I DM'd him and he instantly uh, called me saying, hey, welcome aboard. We got a lot of stuff to uh, do and we need you. So let's uh, just get it cracking. Let's just start working. So <laughs> uh, that was October uh, last year. And then from then on, I've been working with this team and I, I've been having fun. And whenever I make demos uh, as for efforts, I try to come up with as many versions as possible so that we can choose later on what to use and what not to use. So that is kind of the efforts that I put into uh, when it comes to making K-pop music. Um, so how I adjusted myself to making K-pop music from uh, making pop music and R&B almost. Um, I did it by uh, constantly making something that is memorable. Because K-pop, the key word is, you know, being remembered by people. It has to be easy. It has to be stuck in their heads when they listen to it. So that was my kind of like the goal um, to have it in my song. But I, my another focus was to be myself. If you can't be yourself, then you know, the music is not gonna be unique. So you have to kind of like find a balance between uh, being hooky and you know, being yourself. And that's what I've been trying to do with this team. And the team uh, helped me a lot with that. So I'm really grateful for it. So, and another keyword is uh, being uh, danceable. So the music has to, the K-pop music has to make uh, sound like, you know, music that you want to dance to. You know, it's gotta be bouncy. It's gotta make people dance. So uh, you have to keep that in mind. So those are the two things that you have to keep in mind. Being hooky and being danceable. Because, you know, the idol groups, uh, if you go to their concerts, you will realize, realize how important it is uh, because they're up on the stage. They gotta make uh, people dance. They gotta make the fans feel good about uh, the music. So it's gotta be danceable. It's, uh, it's a huge part. So my debut song, uh, which was uh, Treasure's Tarari, uh, when it came out, honestly, a lot of people asked me about that and thinking that I'd be very, I was very happy and stuff, but more than being happy, I was very, it was very, the whole thing was weird actually because i was checking out the uh tiktok challenge and stuff and everybody was singing along everybody was dancing to it um it was weird i never uh, thought it would happen so more than being happy the whole experience was just kind of hard to believe i guess so there was my reaction but after some time passed i came to realize that you know i was very uh lucky and also i i was very i'm very grateful for all the team work and uh the call for from yg shout out to lil, lil g for that and also you know everyone at yg uh helped me out so i was really thankful for it yeah um when i was writing uh rents imagine more i remember vividly remember that it was very chaotic because uh we were working uh even at the last minute and um everybody was working crazy um just crunching uh for the deadline so um yeah it was very we were just busy that's all i remember but um i remember what i also remember was that um when i was writing uh ren's image more um we i remember our team uh, contacted uh, Ray Bryan for the top line and um, it was great the experience was great uh, he wrote some of the great top lines so that we could 
puzzle it up and we ended up making a great song so i'm really thankful for that and um yeah so if you guys uh if you are a producer out there international producer out there uh feel free to like contact us we're very open our team is very open and you know boom as soon as uh he participated we got a song out so anytime you want to send us something uh, feel free to contact me anytime you want to work on something just feel free to contact me my uh, Instagram is Jaguar, that's J-A-9-U-A-A. Uh, and also our team Instagram is 9music uh, here. It's going to be on the caption so you can hit it and then send us some DMs. So if you want to work with a K-pop producer in Korea, you have to be really aggressive in sending out DMs and emails, stuff like that. You already know that, um, including our team, you know, our team Instagram right here. You know, you can feel free to uh, slide us in the DMs all the time. But um, another really important thing is be punctual. So I've worked with um, international writers and a lot of times I, I noticed that there are not a lot of people who are punctual. So you have to be keen on the deadline because we all have deadlines in Korea. Uh, K-pop industry, they're very tight on deadlines. So we cannot, you know, uh, be late. So if you are late, we cannot submit the demo. So what's the point of like working? So always be punctual. That is the, that is the key point. Some of the greatest inspirations for me was, I mean, when I was doing non-K-pop music, it was, um, Frank Ocean and OVO, a lot, I listen to a lot of OVO music and also uh, The Weeknd. But now, now that I'm in K-pop scene, I always listen to K-pop, all the groups, you name it. Um, yeah, so I try to learn from other great K-pop producers and songwriters. So that's what I've been doing for the last six months. Of course, uh, anything K-pop, is welcomed. I really want to continue making K-pop. Yeah, groups that I want to work for definitely include um, Baby Monster. Uh, me being a YG a publishing producer, that's definitely uh, uh, the biggest dream. And also Blackpink. And one of the biggest dreams is to write for Treasure again. I'd be really happy to get back to uh, Treasure. So yeah, that is my dream. If you ask us about, um, you know, how we got to invite over uh, Eves uh, and other idol members. Um, it's through Team 9. It's through uh, Mingo, who is the uh, leader of the team. Um, so if you want that kind of opportunity, just hit us up, just let us know. All right, so my goal is to be able to write with my Team 9, uh, continue to write great songs and put it out there for the world to listen to. And also, I am very, I'm looking forward to um, writing with producers you know all around the world including you so contact us here you know uh, nine music slide in the dm and uh, i'll be looking forward to making great songs making hit, making hits uh with you guys so feel free to uh, contact us okay uh for those of you out there who want to be a k-pop producer just keep at it just just keep going to your studio every day just do your work and wait for the opportunity but um, also contact a lot of K-pop producers actively um, uh, to seek out um, opportunities also and yeah you can do it just keep at it and contact us also nine music let's go yeah that's a, I guess that's a wrap for today thank you for um, tuning in with nine music and um, tune in for more great contents going forward uh, thank you.